Hi, I'm Tom Dick. I'm a math professor and math advisor for Texas Instruments. This short video is part of the TI in Focus AP Calculus series. Here we're going to take a look at how you can use the TI-84 to check your solutions to differential equations using graphs. As an illustration, we're going to use question AB6 from the 2018 free response questions on the AP exam. In this question, you're presented with a differential equation shown up here in blue on the left dy dx equals one third x times the quantity y minus two squared there was also an initial condition y of one equals zero meaning that when x is zero y needed to be equal to one okay now differential equations like these often appear on the non-calculator part of the exam and you're expected to show that you know the technique of solution by separation of variables by hand. And that's what I've illustrated here just to give us some sense of what we might be doing. So I've shown the separation of variables, expression involving y and dy on one side, expression involving x and dx on the other, and we're going to anti-differentiate each of those two sides. The result is shown down here at the bottom left and an arbitrary constant is going to appear on both sides, but we can lump them together on one side. And that arbitrary constant will be determined by the initial condition. And so to make y equal to 0 when x equal 1, we have substitute those values and can solve for c. We get 1 third. And then we finally do some algebraic simplification and get this final result, y equals 2 minus 6 over the quantity x squared plus 2. So I do want to make a special note here that if you neglect to introduce that arbitrary constant and then you do some algebraic simplification and then later on you realize that in order to satisfy the initial condition you need some constant, that late introduction of the constant can result in an erroneous solution. Now while we're expected to solve this differential equation by hand, I would like to show you how you can take such solutions and check them using the TI-84 graphically. Now I've gone over to the y equals menu and I, what I have in here for y1 is actually a, an erroneous solution that arises when you introduce that constant late. We're going to check and see why it doesn't satisfy the differential equation. Now notice what I've got entered for y2 and y3. It's exactly the two sides of our original differential equation. The left hand side was the derivative of y with respect to x. The right hand side was x over 3 times the quantity y minus 2 squared. Now I've graphed this erroneous solution and the first thing we'll do is trace over to x equal 1 see if we actually satisfy the initial condition. Now that's good. So no problem there with the initial condition. But does it really satisfy the differential equation? Well, a way to check that graphically is let's graph the two sides of the differential equation and see if the graphs match up. So I'm turning on y2 and y3. And now I'm going to graph the two results. Oops. We can see that these are not the same graph. And that would have to be true in order for our y1 to be a solution to that differential equation. So let's go back and try again. This time we'll use the solution where the constant was introduced at the correct time. So let me remind you what that looked like. That solution was 2 minus 6 over the quantity x squared plus 2. So I'm editing my y1 to match up with this new solution. And again, we're going to check out graphically if it satisfies the differential equation. First of all, I'll just graph it and see if it satisfies the initial condition. We'll trace over to x equal 1. And sure enough, y is equal to 0. No problem there. But now let's check the harder part. Does it actually satisfy the differential equation? So I'm going to turn on y2 and y3 again. And now we'll graph and see if we get the same graph. Here we go. There's one side. There's the other. They perfectly match up. And so that's giving us pretty strong evidence that we indeed have the correct solution. 
I think this is a nice way to check get the solutions that you get by hand for differential equations. Well, that concludes this video. For more calculus resources like these, please see education.di.com.